Well, this is us going to Charlie. Hello, welcome back to Krista Butcher and Friends. And a special episode today, I'm actually with Stuart Barnes in Charlie. Right, here we are in Leyland. And I say Leyland because it is fucking Leyland. Uh, it's like Kate Stewart saying, I'm from Rochdale, which is a hoo hoo hoo, I know a fucking go area. You know what I mean? Right, anyway, Stu, what are we doing today? We're going to do a kofta kebab curry. Um, Chris has always said that, um, I can see that, you cunt. <laughs> um, Chris has always said he can't be arsed making a curry, so. I'm going to show him how easy it is to do. We're going to do a kofta kebab curry and we're going to do it with some freshly made naan breads of which Chris is going to be making the naan breads. I've made the fucking dough. Okay, uh, I've pre-made the kofta kebabs, done them in little meatballs. It's lamb with coriander, cumin, turmeric, other bits and pieces. Roasted them off. Nice and yummy, tasty. Um, I've got my coriander, fresh, got all the other bits that I need, I've got some fresh chilies, some peppers, onions that I'm going to chop up magically in a little while, got my tin tomatoes, the ever faithful garlic paste, bit of onion, a uh, bit of oil, fresh tomatoes, got my base gravy here, boiling over, base gravy is onions, carrot, potato, curry spices, blitz down to make a, a sauce which you add then to your, your pan which makes it a, a more restaurant style curry sauce rather than a traditional curry sauce that you'd find in India. Restaurant? We're in fucking Charlie. Where's that fucking... Right, Chris has uh, entrusted me with being able to chop this veg up um, as you know in his videos, he does the fucking magic thing. He's given me all the top tips I know, so I'm going to give it a go now and um, see where we go. So, uh, Stu, 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 I'm about to tell you not hit it too hard because you end up with a random board of shit. Let's try it again. Right, should we try that again, Stu? Yeah, sorry, mate. Okay. So, one, two, three. We're here! Result! Fucking magic! Right. One, two, three, four. Shag your missus on the kitchen floor. That'll just go in there, heat up. Do you know what? This kitchen used to be a big kitchen until Chris came into it. You're not calling me a fat bastard, are you? I'm calling you a fat cunt. That's all right, Cleo. Hey! Right, you, you remember what you're doing, Stu, yeah? No. But remember, this is now, what are we? Five o'clock on a Sunday. And I've been drinking since seven o'clock this morning. Fucking hardcore. Anything could fucking happen. Wait till that oil gets hot. We've done this before, I think, in another video. And it'll all look the fucking same. On, two of them. Thing is, last time Chris wasn't here, so we didn't get the uh, smell of vision. I'm gonna get it now, aren't What's I? What's about to fucking happen? Uh, I got it early on when he shit his pants, I'll tell you that now. That's proper smell of vision. Okay, let them toast up for a minute. I'm a cameraman's nightmare because little chefs, we like to fucking fanny around with pans. And the waitresses. That goes without saying. 
Yeah, but Stewie's supposed to fan it around with the female waitresses. Ah! That's where you're going wrong. That's where all them injunctions came from then. Yeah. <laughs> Jim will fix it for you and you and you and da, da, da. Anyway, uh, a bit controversial Stu, but hey, we'll go with it. <coughs> bit tricky not to because we're on live, isn't it? <laughs> right, they're gonna take they're gonna take five minutes to, to sweat down, so me and Chris are gonna have a, a bag break. Okay, add into this garlic and ginger puree. You said puree, not pubes, didn't you? I did, yeah, pubes. You want pubes? Uh, yeah, go on then. No, no, I'm joking. Oh. Now, Chris wasn't here for the, the first one, but he's about to. There's a, a movement happening in his jeans as we speak. Yeah, it's my wallet's a little bit thinner because Louisa just fleeced me for 20 quid, got shot. I know, she's just been to the shop while we've been doing this. Here in little old Leyland. And we've still got expensive shops as well, you know. Do you know what, Stu, though? Right in frame of this shot now is that pint there. Like, this, uh, this one here? Uh, now, everyone knows I love a drink. But because I've had to come to Leyland, I, I've had to drive and I can't. But I'll tell you what. I'm going to be smashing one down my neck later, but fucking no danger. Anyway, Stu, digressing, where the fuck are you up to here? Right, got? okay, I'm going to add the little mix of powders that I've got, which is garam masala, chilli, fenugreek, cumin. Add that all into it. I'll let smell of vision take over for a second. Turn the heat down on it. Say what? Well, take me off, shoe, because that does smell good. This, that is, this is where Big Chris becomes humble. Yeah. Because he realises now how well, fucking easy it well, is. Well, mine would have been in a Patax jar, wouldn't it? I've got one of those in the back. You can take home with you. I'll take it with a great pleasure. It's empty or full? <laughs> it's empty. I'll put me yeah. cubes in it. Yeah, yeah, cute. Okay. Now we're letting everything just sweat out of that now. Let all the herbs and spices sweat out of it. I've got in here the base gravy. We're going to add a little bit of that in a minute just to make the sauce up. I've put me kofta meatballs in the oven. Can you see how that's caramelising on the bottom of the pan? You don't need to worry about everything sticking to the pan because the sauce will bring it all off. Right, here we go. See how clean the bottom of the pan is? That's looking mighty fucking bad. Okay, I need to uh, chop some coriander stalks. Always open coriander from the bottom. Because you're going to need the stalks before you need the leaves. Fucking magic. Yeah. So quick he can chop that coriander. Coriander stalks in and I'm gonna add a little bit of chili. Not huge amounts, they're just standard chilies, they're not uh, Grim Reaper chilies or anything like that. And you just let that sit out. Can you see the bubbles coming up? Whack the heat back up on it. Get it almost burning in the bottom of the pan. 
So what you need to do is see everything bubbling up from the bottom of the pan. Just leave it, let it caramelise, then add Foster's. Because we fucking love beer. Other brands are available. Bit of tomato, chopped tomato. That gives it that Booner sort of touch. I'm just going to up the heat a little bit. Now I've not thickened this with anything. I've just splashed the splash back. And I cleaned that religiously before Chris came down as well. Going to just up the heat, reduce it a little. I'm also going to add at this point my fresh tomatoes. So their skins will just start falling off. While I'm talking, do you know how many skins of leather it takes to make a sofa? I sell sofas by the way. A chair takes two skins, a two-seater takes three skins, and a three-seater is made from four skins. Uh, nearly as bad as one of my fucking jokes, that's true. <laughs> right, see that's just bubbling away, sauce is just reducing down. Big clump of coriander. We're adding the balls. Gotta have the balls to do. Just gotta have the balls to do it. Oh, okay, that drifted off then. If you haven't got the balls to do it, you ain't got the balls. I've got the balls. Quite clear you got the balls. You got a pump, pump, you know, yeah, you got the balls there. Big balls. Billy, big balls. Welcome to Leyland. Not Charlie. Poor oh, kid Charlie. So I've got to go. I've got to go past Rochdale all the way up. <laughs> right, Stuart says I'm a lazy bastard. I've done fuck off. So I'm going to roll this uh, this uh, Charlie Pritter bread. It's a fucking nan bread. <laughs> now I must add, I've shown Chris twice how to do this. I've told him to. Oh, fucking useless. He's fucking useless, uh, you're right. I'm going to end up with a Charlie cake. <laughs> cheeky bastard. Thin. 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 Put your... Put your palms in the middle of the roller. Disperse the weight through the middle. That's it. Am I doing see, it right, see it working. What shape should a nan bread be, Chris? Uh, any shape this fucking thing turns out like. Absolutely, because there's people out there, they're not fucking asked what shape a nan bread is. They're just happy to eat. Very political last year. Right, is that done? Yes. Right. right. Pick your wafer thin nan bread up. Oh, oh, yes. One or half a thin yeah, nan please. bread. Oh, shit. Oh, you bastard. Right. All I'm going to do now is wait for that to uh, incinerate, and bin it, and start again. No, no. I'm going to keep filming with this one. Oh, yeah. This is yours. This is special. No, oh, that fucking special. It's actually doing all right. Is it? Yeah, I'm fucking surprised. Yeah, Let's have some fosters. No. <laughs> Uh, I've got Bostic hands, he hasn't. <laughs> What's fuck all right? what yours did? No, it's alright that. Is she, eh? Yeah, I'll give that a go. Oh. You wait till you taste it. Oh, I'll make sure I taste one of yours. Right, we'll be back after the taste test. Or before the taste test, because we're going to taste test the taste of the taste of the curry taste. Spit it out, Stu, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Taste test. Right, I'm going to get stuck in, then Stuart's going to get stuck in, <coughs> and he's going to drop one right at the side of my face. We're about to stick this. Here we go. Mm. Yeah. 
bit of that piss poor nan bread I've made. Mm. Well, Steve. I don't usually eat a lot of the food I prep, but. Mm. That damn bread is crispy as fuck, beautiful. Mm. I must have picked up one you made. Hey! <clears throat> some shit you, I've seen some of shit you've produced, Stuart, I'll tell you what. Oh, hey! We're back. I'll tell you what, that was fucking beautiful. That that damn bread I had, I must have got the one that I uh, I, I didn't roll because it tasted alright. <clears throat> is that the one? Yes. You can tell that because it looks like a wipe my fucking ass on it. <laughs> but I tell you what, that chilli though, chilli, I could hardly taste it with a little bit of a kick and then lamb, lamb fucking nutsy pudding. Beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. What do you think, Stu? Uh, I'm actually quite proud of it myself. It, um, all the flavours come through. You've got a heat of the chilli, but nothing that bites you in the back of the mouth. It's just soothing all the way through. Um, I'll put the recipe up on Chris's post so you, you know exactly what you're doing if you want to know how to do it don't follow this video right fuck you <laughs> I fucking saw that <laughs> you were meant to right anyway that's me that's me <laughs> and him and uh, that's us signing off don't forget please like comment and subscribe and become a member of hashtag Team CTB with me, this daft prick, and everyone else. Don't forget, eat curry every fucking day.